Hi, my name is Gay Jane Perez and I represent the Philippines. I am an associate professor from the Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Within the last two decades, we witnessed rapid economic growth and population increase in Southeast Asian nations. Increasing population naturally leads to the requirement for more food, which means increasing agricultural production. This has been a big challenge because the sizes of agricultural farms have been declining due to urbanization and impacts of climate change. Among the most promising solution is precision agriculture. My research makes use of satellite data to derive geophysical parameters like vegetation indices, surface temperature, rainfall, soil moisture, and evapotranspiration. The use of satellite data for monitoring agricultural areas is advantageous because of comprehensive coverage at good temporal resolution. It becomes even more powerful when coupled with models and in-situ data that simulate ideal conditions to optimize crop yield. One of our studies show that by planting within an optimal planting window, the yield for yellow corn can increase as much as 39%. The benefits will be more significant for agricultural areas with access to irrigation since water supply can be managed in order to achieve maximum yield. The data can also be used to identify areas that are productive and areas that require more fertilizers. One of the critical drivers that affect agricultural production are natural hazards such as drought. Currently, I am leading project DCAF, which aims to assess, monitor, and forecast drought in the Philippines. Here, we developed a drought index suitable for the detection of agricultural drought, and while it still needs improvement, it has already been shown to be 73% accurate in identifying drought occurrences. This project is being implemented together with two government agencies in the Philippines who will integrate the outputs in their operation to better advise the farmers and the general public of events that would affect crop yields. I applied to the CN US Science Prize for Women because I feel that if I win the prize, I could serve as a role model to encourage more women to pursue scientific research. My background is physics, and I've been privileged to have as my mentors outstanding physicists from my country and the U.S. Through their encouragements, guidance, and support, I managed to advance my career to the point where I now realize that women are just as capable as their male counterparts in doing research in science. My training in physics has also been a significant advantage since it provided the right kind of background to be innovative in agricultural research, especially in precision agriculture. Women scientists in the Philippines are few, and it is even worse when it comes to agricultural research. I have been trying to change this, but it has not been easy, and I think I will be more effective if I win the CNUS Science Prize. Thank you.